Hello. Hello students. Welcome back to Anand Joshi Biology, a channel that is devoted to help the student that are preparing for their national level entrance examination for medical sciences. Friends, continuously I am attempting to provide you with all the in-depth information and the detailed updates of the examination pattern, the question paper pattern and all the allied information. So I am attempting this in the form of my channel that is Facts in Biology. Now actually, through this channel, in last few videos, we have studied the reproductive activities in plant kingdom that is in the form of reproduction in lower and higher plants. In the last lecture itself, we have seen the development of endosperm and today we are the development of embryo in the angiospermic plants. So today, if we see the actual process of reproduction that have resulted into formation of two important aspects. The first one, it is obviously the diploid zygote and second one, the primary endosperm nucleus. Friends, actually the process of first fertilization that start with the oospere or ovum and the first male gamete, they fuse together to form the diploid zygote. The process of development of this zygote into the embryo, it is collectively termed as embryogenesis. Now this embryo is developed at micropylar end of the embryo sac because we know in the embryo sac itself, the egg apparatus containing ovum, it is lying at the micropylar end. So it is quite obvious that the development of embryo, it is at or near the micropyle, that is micropylar end of the embryo sac. The growth of embryo, it is triggered only after certain amount of endosperm is formed. Now this is again very important that before the actual development of embryo, the food material, the nutritive tissue and the sperm must be available right from the first go. So it is growth of the embryo that is triggered only after development of the endosperm or the formation of endosperm. Now if we see the actual process of development of embryo, it is in a sequential process. After fertilization, embryonic development begins and that zygote immediately after development of endosperm unicellular zygote it is considered as a pro embryo or it is the previous stage of the embryo now this embryo it undergo a mitotic division and that unequal mitotic division it gives rise to two cells out of these two cells the larger cell towards the micropyle is called as basal cell or suspensor cell or even it is referred as initial cell and the other chalazal cell it is called as smaller cell and it is said to be the terminal or embryonal initial cell. Now the suspensor cell divide and transversely divide in one plane to produce filamentous suspensor that consists of six to eight cell. Here you can see the suspensor cells are, we can say continuously divided and redivided to form six to seven cells and they will form the suspensor. Then the first cell of the suspensor cell towards the micropyle and that micropylar cell becomes swollen and it will form the haustorium. Now haustorium is a structure which will digest the endosperm and provide the nutrition to the developing embryo. Now, if we see the lowermost cells of the suspensor, they are called as hypophysis. Now, these hypophysis, they will try to push the embryo towards the endosperm so that continuous nutrition to the endosperm or embryo, it is available. The embryonal initial cell, it undergo three successive divisions, mitotic divisions to form octant cell. In the first stage, it will be two cell. In the second one, it will be four cell. And in the third division, it will form the octant embryo or octant stage of the embryo containing eight cells. Here you can see this is the eight celled stage of the embryo. Now, once that is done, the plane of the division, it will change and it will take at the right angle to each other. The lower tire of the four cells, the, uh, particularly of the octant cell, it will give rise to hypocotyl region as well as radical. Whereas the four cells towards the upper tire, they form the plimule and one or two cotyledon which are respectively present in the seed. 
the hypophysis by further division it gives rise to the part of radical as well as the root cap now here you can see the arrangement where we can have the arrangement of the cells of embryo to form plumule cotyledon and radical as well as the allied components then if we see the subsequently the cells in the upper tier of the octant they divide several planes to become a heart shaped structure which is then form two lateral cotyledons and a terminal structure said to be the plumule here you can see the cotyledon structure is there and here the plumule is going to form now if we see the next stage it is said to be the further development of hypocotyl and cotyledon results into a curvature of the embryo and very soon it will develop a horse shoe shaped structure now that horse shoe shaped structure it is representing the middle stage of the development of embryo in angiosperm now actually at this stage itself we will understand the shapes of the embryo because if we see initially a unicellular structure then a multicellular structure now that multicellular embryonal structure it may acquire heart shaped or even it may acquire a torpedo shape elongated tor torpedo shape or even the mature embryo that is horseshoe shaped embryo it can be seen at the various stages now embryo development is similar both in dicotyledony plants as well as monocotyledony plants particularly up to the octant stage the difference is introduced only after the octant stage now if we see the dicotyledony embryo here you can see this is representation of the dicotyledony embryo we know there are three major parts as far as embryo is concerned it is the plumule it is the cotyledon and it is the radical now here you can see the micropyle is there and just above the micropyle you can see the radical which is developing and this radical it will have a connection with the cotyledon region and then the plumule very interestingly and very importantly you should understand that as an embryonal axis the topmost position it is occupied by the plumule and this plumule it will have a region called as hypocotyl and just below that it will be the radical which is present so epicotyl just above the plumule hypocotyl just above that plumule and there will be the radical now epicotyl and hypocotyl in the middle portion the cotyledons are attached to the embryonal axis so if we see the dicotyledony embryo it will have embryonal axis in which epicotyl region hypocotyl region epicotyl region will have attachment of plumule hypocotyl region will have attachment of radical and there will be a straight line where we can have embryonal axis is present then if we see the dicotyledony embryo it is we can say having the structure that is consisting of the embryonal axis but that cannot be seen with the monocotyledony embryo because in monocotyledony embryo a very distinct difference is there that only one cotyledon is there and when only one cotyledon is there it will have the epicotyl region which is having the plumule just above it hypocotyl region just below that radical will be there and a single cotyledon is there now that single cotyledon it will be having the name scutellum and this scutellum we can say represent the single cotyledon additionally if we see this entire monocotyledony seed it will be covered by a proteinaceous layer that is called as alluron additionally we can say in monocot embryo a single cotyledon it will occupy the terminal position and the plumule is shifted towards the lateral side that single shield shaped cotyledon it is referred as scutellum the protective sheath of the plumule it is called as coleoptile and that of the radical it is called as coleorhiza finally the ovule which is undergone fertilization is transformed into a viable structure called a seed and ovary it undergone we can say biochemical morphological changes to form what we call it as a fruit friends this is the development of seed the development of embryo and uh, in case of angiosperm the developmental structures have been completed now if you find these videos helpful for your preparation do subscribe like share and comment and strike the bell button so that you can get intimated you can get informed whenever i am uploading my new video thank you thank you very much